Now it's time to meet one of Britain's most iconic singers. He first shot to fame in the 70s as the frontman of the uber cool Roxy Music. He's also had a fantastic solo career and is responsible for some of the best music ever to come out of the UK. Oh, please welcome Brian Ferry. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, may Sorry. I extend my gratitude to you for putting up with us and being such a good sport today. Um, oh, and I'd like to apologise now for what's to come. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Carol is um, mute. Next to you. I am. Um, you, you know, I'm always, you're always worried about meeting your heroes, aren't you? Yeah, a little terrified. Bit. Um, yeah. I was trying to avoid meeting mine. Uh, have you met yours? Uh, no, I, I sort of keep away from people. I've met, you know, a few famous people. And, uh, Liz Taylor, people like that. Liz you know, Taylor. Never like in awe of oh, you know, yeah. but, Do you know we've met uh, before, though? You won't remember. Well, about, yeah. well um, you, you, you well, didn't in a really... club, was it? <laughs> no, it was, no, it was in a, um, on the set of a German pop show in the 80s. Oh, wow. I think you were singing Avalon, but I was a bit, oh. I was a bit like that, and I came over to you and I went, all right, Brian, and you ignored <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 I was probably flustered at the time. Yeah, oh, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how are you? Um, Very well. As, thank as you. A... <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, uh... How are you with female company? Does, it, does the thought of spending an hour with four women normally fill you uh, with terror? Yeah, not with dread. No, not at all. Um, no, I've got, uh, as you see, uh, wonderful singers with me. That I hang out with when we're on tour. And, uh, yeah, I always have the most fun with the girls. We'll see them later. I always kind of go to their dressing room rather than the lads. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think there's any truth in that body language thing? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm sure there is somewhere. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz. He's, he's really classy. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I've never flirted in my life, so I wouldn't know, really. You really? don't need to. You, yeah. don't, you don't need to. You have, you, you emanate class and sophistication, oh, doesn't he? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, um, it, do, you, do you wake up in the morning and have to really think about putting yourself together, or are you like us, just grab us <laughs> on the floor? Well, it depends on what kind of hangover you've got. I was <laughs> watching you earlier talking about it. Yeah, it's, um, no, I'm usually all right in the morning. Is it a, lot a bit of, of a late riser, man. Is it a lot of pressure, though? Because you are, you're, you know, your proper style icon, aren't you? You have to admit that. But, well, I dressed up to come onto your show because I thought you'd be critical. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> but, you know, is that a pressure to sort of, you know, every no, day no, think I must look no, really not good? Really. Um, not I really. I always <laughs> think you look very aristocratic. Mm. And um, when I was reading about you, I, I was surprised to, to hear that your dad was a miner oh, yeah, yeah. and you're from quite a working class background. Yeah. I thought you were posh. No. <laughs> no, um, no, I'm not posh at all. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very common. <laughs> uh, no, my dad was actually... Well, he was actually a farmer. He didn't really uh, think of himself as a miner, but he, right. he worked on the pit uh, in the 30s. The farm that he... He was a ploughman, really. He used to plough with uh, four horses in a row and won lots of prizes for it. So, and, so what uh, would he Like make Thomas Hardy sort of figure. Really? But when the farm failed in the 30s, in the Depression, then... Um, my mother made him go and work down the pit, really, <laughs> looking after the horses there, underneath the ground. So that, he was very much a country so where did man. where did you come from, then? From you? Durham. Oh, so you're way aped? Way aped. Way aped. <laughs> and then I went to university in Newcastle and studied art there for and four years. And you were years. a pottery teacher, weren't you? Uh, for about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was doing all sorts of odd jobs when I, I sort of graduated and moved to London. And then I did anything. I did driving jobs and all sorts, uh, working in an antiques shop, uh, which was very interesting, kind of, uh, 
restoring old antiques yeah. and things. And making it up as I went along, of course. <laughs> yeah. but, and and the same with pottery teaching or art teaching. One of the things yeah. that you've always applied is your, your love of art to, to, to what you do with music and the visuals that you use, and your album covers yeah. are iconic. Mm. And, yeah. um, and your latest, mm. Olympia, is, is, is no exception. You, you've employed the services of the world's greatest supermodel, Kate Moss, and there yeah. she is, Beautiful just shot. dripping in diamonds, looking yeah. like sex on a plate. And, and this is you putting the shoot together. You're very involved, aren't you? Oh, I always get very involved in the artwork because that's what, you know, what I like doing. And we did that with the, all the Roxy Music covers uh, at the beginning of my career. And now uh, this is the first album I've made of my own songs for a while. So it's been a big project for, for us uh, in my studio. So that looks like an expensive shoot there. Yeah, kind of a lot of people are involved nowadays yeah. like, with the, the technology jewels. that you have. It's incredible mm. that you can kind of know if you've got it instantly, you know. And uh, so, yeah, we, we got Kate to do the cover, which is fantastic. How tricky is that? Because she's a lady with a very busy schedule. I would well, she's a, she likes our music, so that's, oh, uh, wow. that's the great thing. And this time, instead of having an unknown girl, we thought we'd have the most famous <laughs> cover girl in the world. Well, you could have had other choices, Brian, because yeah. uh, we've been busy well, in our I art I haven't department. met you guys. <laughs> Take uh, a look at this. Here's your original art, artwork. And, oh, uh, right. and then this is, this is what Lisa came up with. <laughs> 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 you look like you need a doctor, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's, of course, Jerry and, and Carol stepping into those <laughs> famous, well, I was going to say shoes, good. but it's a fishtail. Oh, Sorry about that. That's very good. Now, as well as reuniting with the older, uh, your old band members from Roxy Music, you've, you've, in, you've employed the services of new artists at uh, Groove Armada. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is the sisters for this record. Uh, is it important yeah. for you to keep tapping into new blood? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's, it's great to do things on your own, and when you're kind of writing songs, it um, can be quite a lonely kind of thing. But then you take the song at the studio, then you work with lots of other people. And I tr especially with a solo record, I, I like to have lots of different kinds of characters, uh, personalities working on those songs, you know, because each song is different yeah. and needs a different kind of uh, palette or whatever. And uh, this time, I, I, as you said, I worked with Groove Amada, Scissor Sisters. Well, what's the song you're going to perform to us today? That's, That's called You Can Dance, and uh, it's... Uh, well, yeah, we are so looking forward to hearing it. Your band, band are in place. Would you, uh, would you mind taking a, a place at the stand? And for now, we'll say thank you so much for thank Brian you, Ferry. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Now, while Brian gets ready to perform for us, it's time to tell you that uh, we'll be back tomorrow at the usual time of 12.30 with the one-time king and queen of daytime, double act Richard and Judy, and there's loads of other great guests coming up this week, including Katie Price, Martin Shaw and the Saturdays, and on Thursday, a real treat. Look, Dawn French gets the whole show to herself, but right now, singing us out with his latest hit, You Can Dance, taken from his new album, Olympia. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Ferry. <laughs>
So good. 